And all right. Honestly, Inferno, I I took the the skill study, so I can probably learn. I can be an understudy. Uh, for nice. something. Understudy. <laughs> That's true. It could be. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys are creative. You'll you'll come up with something. Mm-hmm. I am mm-hmm. amazed that we got to this point. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. So I guess here's the big question because I can go over this next day relatively quickly before we need to finish things up. To tell you the truth, my only question to you, my fine players, is. Is one, do you comply? Do you leave the behemoth at all in the next 24 hours? And if you don't, oh, what do you do just generally to spend your time? I, I stay in the behemoth. I play around with the sword um, to try and, you know, practice. The Good dedicated sword learned. practice time? Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Um, actually, Al would go to Patrick at some point. Um, I, is this going to be early or just kind of midday? Oh, just sometime I can tell during you. the day. Right. Just not. Uh, really how about you, Kriana? Uh, Nora's just going to stare at a wall. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just sit on the floor staring at the wall. Really? Yeah. Oh, Nora is so interesting. I feel so bad for saying that she's not as interesting as Mila because this is. <laughs> I I I can't read Nora at all. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So cool. <laughs> Yeah. All right. For Patrick, um, he's going to uh, probably spend the 16, 14, 16 hours of him being awake to uh, finish up his uh, code for uh, the radio thing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And that will actually finish it up with that dedicated day. The good news, you guys can just wrap up stuff. Bad news, you can't leave anywhere. But hey, whatever. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, at some point, I would go to Patrick and be like, so, um, what I said to the lizard mage, I really have been thinking, if I can stop running, and, um, <clears throat> I don't think I would ever stop practicing my skills of espionage just to keep up with it, but I can focus on being a doctor and healing and I really do think that I'd like to learn magic that would allow me to do that better you more than anyone else I know know about magic so if there's any way you could help me I would greatly appreciate it oh yeah I I know things about magic but I wish I could do anything with it uh Oh, I'm not suggesting that, that you can teach me right here. I'm just saying that maybe you can help me look for ways to learn. Hmm. I can do that. By the way, um, just for curiosity's sake, since we're doing the whole switching bodies thing, mm-hmm. um, you probably sh- should check with... Um, God, what's that name? Is it Claw? No. Finger. Okay. That's what it is. Finger. I'll probably <laughs> check. I knew it was something on his hand. <laughs> claw. <laughs> They're Claw. I want like just traveling your brain one of these days. <laughs> I just I had finger, the image of Dan Jim Perrin, Carrey. Dan with Finger the Perry. The Claw. Your anyway, claw. yeah. What about Finger? What about Finger? Um, you might want to check with him exactly who's attached to those funds. Because if oh, you die, right? <laughs> All right. Then... Their group. I'll just tell you. God will tell you right now. They were funds to the group, and if the majority of the group is still the same, yeah. And and oh. if you just say, hey, you know, like Tom and Patrick, they're dead. Well, then I guess you guys, by in all <laughs> fairness, inherit it. What? No, yeah. I was actually he thinking said that... Patrick and I panicked oh. for a moment, but I, then I <laughs> realized it was an error. I was actually thinking <laughs> it might be better for um, even for the storytellers if we say that Al and Tom were actually passed away, died instead of just they left, um, because it might be a little sad for the storytellers, but it would it would definitely keep them from asking any questions. Yeah. So. Oh questions. God. I just realized you're gonna have to try and fucking explain this to Mila. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. 
we can't yeah we can't Can't you just like implant those memories (laughs) or something you know (laughs) you know asking god no (laughs) i'm asking nora Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's not how it works. doesn't work like that. That's not how it works. I don't really know how it works, but I don't think it works like that. It's up to how you want to make it work, but it's true. If you're distinct personalities, and you can't even... If you keep telling, like, take care of Mila for me as Nora, it's clear that Nora has no... <laughs> no... There's anyway. a... There's Control. ways. There's ways the, we can help the, more. The I mind, know. like fucking helper. <laughs> you know, it's uh, not the best you can do. I was just picturing like uh, Tom thinking that how how to control Mila is like her her little like uh, whatever those things are stuck in her head. Those mind over matter things are like little knobs, and you just twist them and be like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! No, That's how on- it goes? Honestly, I think that I, I'm just spitballing here. But if we sit down with Mila and 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 tell her that you know I'm Al and this is Tom and remember when we did this and remember when we did that and only you know only we knew about this, I think Mila would probably be okay with it. Okay. Probably. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I don't well, know we'll have to jump that yeah. jump that uh, hurdle when, when I come. Yeah. Yeah. The more important thing is I'm going to just bring us back on task as to yes. what you guys want to do uh, for the 24 hours that you're in lockdown. Is there anything specific that you'd like to do? Because I have a few scenes in mind. But, of course, um, uh, it's it's up to you guys. I mean, I want to make sure I take care of you guys first, you know? No, I'm, I'm good. All right. Uh, I'm, All right. I'm going to continue training for most of the day. <laughs> with the sword and, and after that I might just take a nap or something okay fair enough so around 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, the behemoth door has a heavy knock and uh, as you open it you do see Ashwin Calabar and this time it's his full kind of military garb flanked by five officers all fully armed and he says my officers can stay outside but I think it's best that I come in and speak with you and let you know what I've determined. Al would nod and uh, invite him in. He says, <clears throat> he sits down and he says, So the first thing I had done with Tyne is I took her data and I cross sectioned it with known days that I knew that I could corroborate that Shana Hoyas was out either in the Detroit ruins or on a long day patrol or personally with me in a council uh, meeting. I found three discrepancies that said that a possible pickup happened when she was otherwise occupied. So that grew to my suspicions that, thankfully, it might not have been Shauna who was involved at all. I once again returned to Tyne to interrogate her. She insisted that she was absolutely certain. She gave me as many details as she could. So I followed the other lead of Gertie Lombardo and this possible changeling situation. We arrived at her home around 1 o'clock in the afternoon She was not there. She did not arrive to any of her meetings in the morning, nor did she arrive at the large council as well. There was mentioning that she was sick, so we just assumed perhaps she was in the hospital or in Myrna's house of healing to treat her flu, but she was not there either. I... We knocked, uh, we looked at her place, we looked through her place, there was nothing, until... One of our police officers, who's gifted in the ways of sensing magic, sent some residual mystical energy in her home, or at least in the director of her home, direction of her home. With that in mind, we entered the abode, and with some searching, we did not find Gertie, but we did find an orgy of evidence that included disguises, fake identification, 
uh, encrypted computers, and other such disguises. One of them being Shauna's ex- a replica of Shauna's uniform and her identification. We feel that it was this changeling who might have in- impersonated Shauna. I have not told her anything that I, what I found. In addition, your fears for the DB Orums, he is safe back at his job. No harm seemed to have, co- seemed to have come to him. However, there's still some problems. One, this changeling has clearly fled. They have been tipped off somehow. And I think it's because they have agents working throughout New Laszlo. And at least one or two of them are police officers in my own jurisdiction. I'm going to raise my hand. (laughs) Patrick's going to raise his hand. (laughs) Yes? Um, The lizard mage has informed us he captured the... Um, the changeling. Probably the residual magic you were probably picking up. Do you have ways of contacting this lizard mage? Um, yes, but um, it he has informed us that it should not be. Uh, he won't come at a whim. Uh or anything I, I'm not quite sure if he will comply if you ask um show him how to do it then Patrick and like Norris just like looking at him like don't this isn't the time to guess <laughs> if what you say is true and this lizard mage or this thing saying that he is a lizard mage has captured Neek. I need proof of that. I need to know for sure that my people are safe. You understand? Oh. Um, I will ask uh, hmm. I would say Patrick. Can you maybe yes. try to contact him and just tell him exactly what's going on and see if there's any way he can give assurances that the town is safe? I'm sure he would be willing to. Uh, all right. He he hesitantly uh, pulls out a, a decadent amulet um, and kind of holds it to his chest. Okay. Uh, shuts eyes and um, relays the information something along the lines of there is the lead enforcer who wants of of the town who is concerned about um, the the presence of a changeling and he wants um, solid evidence that he's been taken care of. What kind of evidence does this enforcer require? I will ask, uh, what sort of evidence would you like? I'd like to speak with him first and foremost, um, Ashwin says. The... I will now close my eyes again and think <laughs> on lines of he wants to uh, talk to you. Would showing up here be an inconvenience? And you hear through the gem in your mind a sigh that says, This enforcer, is he a great problem to you? Um, he poses no particular threat. Uh, he is more trying to uh, verify concerns. If he is no threat, then I see no reason why I should come to your aid right now. I am very busy, human. I do not have time to play games with your mortals. <laughs> and he'll open his eyes and I'll give out a big, big sigh he uh, 
quote unquote does not have time to play with mortals. Can't 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 he? And this is Tom saying, can't he maybe throw the necklace over, like teleport the necklace over here, and then just so we can see, and then take it back? I don't think he would do that. Even if we asked him, that that's that's. He, he it, from what it sounded like he he he's not going to give up his prize to just to show some can't we just have uh, uh, the way to communicate i don't really know you just close your eyes and what you think yeah, yeah. You just give the stone yeah. to ashwin and just be like think at it right <laughs> yeah uh, that's the thing <laughs> patrick is obviously concerned about this and going uh that might upset the lizard mage. Well, ask then him. ask, ask the lizard mage if it's okay <laughs> if you can if you can right. talk with this I will mortal. Ask. Um, <laughs> All right. Now here, you don't have to repeat it. It's okay. I can, can I just give you the lizard mage's response? Yeah. It's another sign that says very well. I hope it is brief. <laughs> We're pissing right. off our ally. Um, I don't yeah, know I, what you want. I'm trying to save our lives. Before I, yes. I hand it over, I will like I will say I would need you to promise you give this back. Ashwin Calabar says, "I, Ashwin Calabar, uh, protege of Lord Kaoki himself, do solemnly swear I will return this gem to you." And the lizard mage has asked to keep it brief and will extend his semi uh, Patrick's hand to uh, with the necklace in hand and hand it to All him. All right. Uh, Ashwin and gives will... a bit of a look, but he takes a gem from you. And he says, I'm to just concentrate my thoughts into the gem, you say. Yes. Hmm. Mila, you haven't rolled dice in a while. Oh, no, I haven't. I wasn't even prepared. Okay. My... okay no, you can just do a roll. Roll d20 thingy. All right. Uh, so I would like oh, you to roll. Oh, a... shit. Oh. Um, wait. Okay. That's excellent. <laughs> you did the one it. Afterward... No, actually, I can't tell you what the consequences are if you rolled fail because that is excellent. So... Ashwin closes his eyes, concentrates on the gem, and within three seconds, his eyes light up. He returns the gem to you, and he goes, Thank you, I know everything I need to know. Oh, oh and he starts to make towards the door, and he says, I know for certain it was Neek now. You are absolved of your crimes. Although I have to uh, advise you, don't take the law into your own hands, Anu Laszlo. If you don't have anyone that you can trust, you can always trust me. And with that, he leaves. Well, that was easy. Sweet. Well, yeah. Well, three right. seconds. <laughs> Wait. I, I, I just want to say right before he leaves, make sure to keep in touch so that we know how much the new arm would be. Uh, Ashwin says and replies, Tyne, out of all her ill-gotten gains, what she has taken will be returned to whatever relatives and family members we can track down. Her assets will be liquidated. She can pay for her own damn arm, he says. Okay. And now I don't feel as guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and that was out of character. Cool. Okay. About feeling guilty? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that Tom is a sociopath. He doesn't feel anything. No, he's not <laughs> first. <laughs> no, he There's All nothing right, in his but, heart but flames. But figuring that we're, we're near the tail end of a new day, uh, out of my calculations, you guys just have four days left in New Laszlo, which is great because yeah. we've been in the town for a while, which is fine. You guys done, have done a fuck ton, but uh, it, uh, it's great. But I think this is a good time to end it. 
And uh, yes. probably next session, we'll see, um, depending on everything else that goes on. But there's a good chance that you might wrap up your stay here in New Laszlo over next session or maybe two sessions. So it'll be fun to continue on. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll end it here officially. Um, congratulations on figuring anything, everything out and getting yourselves out of a very sticky situation from Jesus last night. Christ, that, that was terrible. really sticky. And you handled it very, very well, actually. I have to say, you handled it extremely well. So, congratulations. We gave up, and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. but seriously, sometimes you have to... No, I, I agree. I actually like it. The the, player, the... it. It's the player thought of the D&D player was like, we have to solve this ourselves, right? But you were able to like, wait, wait, wait. You s s seriously consider the consequences of your actions and you're just like, I only see one other way for this to go and it's not good. Yeah. yeah. And it would have been really rough because Shauna was actually innocent. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was... <laughs> I had all this other stuff going, and actually what I was going to do, if you were going to just uh, harang not harangue, but confront Shauna yourself, she would actually yeah. accuse you guys of being coalition spies and trying to frame her and everything like that. So that would have been a really interesting interaction, but I'm kind of glad oh it went this God. way instead. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, we get to have a fun conversation with Nathan. I was like a yeah. mini sleuth. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, so not a lot of action this this episode, but that's okay. This episode Dude, is fine. <laughs> you know what? Given all yeah. the roles we had last session, I think the less roles we had to make this session, the better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. And I'm so glad your internet came up for Nora to talk yeah. some sense to some people. Yeah. yeah. It came up <laughs> great timing. Just like, I felt like, you know, it's not often I get to be the voice of reason. I, I just, it feels great to be like sitting here being like, This God. is the longest I've ever seen Nora out, too, by the way. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a reason for it, but Mila will be coming back soon. <laughs> out of character information. You know what's really cool is that you get to play like two characters. I know. Yeah. And like it makes complete sense to me, but apparently it doesn't make sense to anyone else, and I love it. <laughs> doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter, really. It's your character, yeah. right? Just fun. We're just here for to ride the Mila train. Yeah. So. Choo choo. All right. Well, so um, I don't think I'll ask you. I'll wait till after we're done, New Laszlo, for me to ask you. You know those four questions I typically ask you guys mm -hmm. just to get back. But um, I guess we can. We don't have to stop the stream, but we can stop recording. I reckon. Alrighty I then. There's any we shall <laughs> stop the recording. And all of you on the YouTube's. We'll see you uh, probably tomorrow because that's generally how this works. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.